So yesterday I had a, an update from Litchi, and it's for the Litchi Pilot Beta. And when I say beta, because I'm a, a beta tester for Litchi at the moment, and obviously they're trying to get the Mini 3 Pro, the Mini 3 and the Mini 4 Pro up and running fully. But at the moment, it, they're still testing. It's not fully established yet. So you, I think you can download the beta version to try it out yourselves. But on this update, it's a big one. And it's to do with the Mission Hub. They brought out a new Mission Hub beta. So that's a test as well. And also that's to coincide with the latest drones. We're talking about the Mini 3, the Mini 3 Pro, the Mini 4 Pro. Um, and it's completely different. And I think really they've pushed the boundaries on this one. So at the moment on the screen, this is the new Mission Hub version. But as I mentioned before, it's the beta version. So things are slightly different and I'm still getting myself around the board on this. So at the bottom there where the drone is will be my, um, my waypoint missions that I've done. So the one I'm doing mainly at the moment is this one here. So this is the, the 2D version, which you would get on your app when you're flying the drone. But now we've got a lot more options now. We've got a, I think they call it the 3D version, but also we've got, um, you can use Google. So this is the lay of the land here. So you can see there the, the waypoints uh, and also reading, I'll just, I'll just read off the spill what they sent me anyway. Um, we're excited to launch Litchi Hub the next generation successor to Mission Hub. Um, so they have changed the name then to the Litchi Hub. Um, now in beta, so obviously it's, like I said, it's still a test really. Uh, packed for exciting new features and a fresh design, uh, which will make planning a lot smarter, faster and more um, visual. So there's gonna be advanced flight management, uh, search, features, 3D flight preview and stim, uh, simulation, use, uh, powered by Google Earth, uh, auto save, undo, redo, enhanced KML exports, uh, includes a full Google Earth tool simulation, uh, real time planning, flight engine selection, streamed flight settings, cruising altitude, gimbal pitch mode, orbit, spiral, well spiral is something definitely new, uh, new waypoint action, zoom, uh, bottom lights, which is the light underneath the drone, and multi-language support. But they do emphasize it's only for the new drones and it's obviously only for the Litchi pilot. So as I mentioned, the Mini 3, the Mini 3 Pro, and the Mini 4 Pro. Not any other drones, guys. So just remember that. Anyway, what I'm going to do, what I, once you can see at the moment, um, you've got the sort of the flight mission. This is the, the 3D version. And if I want to play that, I can press it up there. And you can see at the bottom there, it's, it's telling me all the, um, you know, the speed, the height, and it's going out onto its first waypoint. And if I wanted to, I, I can change that while it's in flight. I can go back into uh, 2D. You can't really see it, but the, the drone is there. Um, but I'm, I'm sure if you enlarged it, you'd be able to see it a lot better. But I do quite like the, the Google Earth format of it. Now, where, where I live in Spain, Google Earth hasn't really got into the the, the contours of the um, the map yet, but I'm sure in other places around the, you know around the world you got you got a much better view of it. But you get the idea. You can, you can see thinking about it. I can just see it now. You can see the contours of um, the lay of the land there. So, Litchi, at long last, has decided to kick its ass in give us a lot more information now. So anyway, what we're going to see in the next part of the video is I'm going out testing the drone itself. But I think what it is now, now I can start planning waypoints on the new 
uh, Litchi Hub, uh, and we can see what, what other things we do. But that, that'll be in another video, guys. I just thought today I'll just show you what Litchi just sent me, uh, and we can just go from there, really. Enjoy the vid. It's all ready on now, um, ready for the drone to take off. Um, and what I've got at the moment, I've got on manual, so I'm just gonna do auto take off. Just gonna test out a couple things. I'll just send it up a bit, we'll just send it forward so it's not so noisy here. Okay. So as you can see on the screen, where we got the record on, now the only good thing about Elixir I love is I programmed it so as soon as the drone takes off, it's it's recording. So I ain't got to worry about that. That's in the settings. I've done a video on that, how you do all that. So I'm just going to try the, the portrait or the vertical mode. So, yeah, that's working. Let's put it back under normal. We'll just go into settings, just to see if anything changed on that general. Um, we got I've got mine on Imperial. Um, we've got sync, dramatic home point I've got on, if you can see. We've got the follow, we've got a high position. So look, looking at that, looks good. A drone, I've got everything on there, looks good. Go home if I get a signal loss. Yep, that's good. Camera, got the storage. Now I've already formatted the card, but that's always a good idea, guys, to do that. But we won't need that because the, I'm really all got the video on already. So let's go into waypoints and mode. We'll just try out one of the waypoints. And I will do this one here. We'll just tap on the screen to see. Okay, so I'm all ready. Let's do start. Okay, so that will go off and do its own thing. I'll put a bit of music on because you'll hear me babbling. I just want to see uh, how it's testing.
all those trees in it. So this is how it lands. Okay, it's coming in. Because I got it on return to home. Obviously, with the Mini 3 Pro, it's not brilliant on its um, landing position. And it's not. Okay. Okay, I can stop that. So that was going to land in the grass, so I had to take control of that, which you know, which he can do, which you know is, is another safety eye. So the, the drone's landed, the video's gone off. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come out of waypoints now. Um, and we're going to go into the follow. So the first thing we need to do is get the drone off the ground. Okay, so that, that's off the ground. I'm going to put on the big screen now. Right, so we just got to get up a bit. Okay, I'm just going to send it up there a minute. I'm going to, I'm going to walk over here and we'll just see if we can get the follow to work. Okay, so let's just see. If, no, okay. The, the problem I was having, I got the, um, I got start follow, so I'll do that. Okay, so why has it done that? <laughs> okay, I was having a few issues with this. So I'll just see if it's gonna follow me. And to be honest, it, it looks like it's a bit like the active track, but it's, um, Right, I'm going to put on, I think, this top one above the go is the lock. Right, so I've got it on lock now. So officially, that should stay like that. Right, so that that looks like that's pretty well sorted it. Yeah, to straighten itself up. Now the gimbal for some reason is facing down. So, I, but I've got control of that gimbal. But like I said, I think to be honest, that's just um, an ongoing prom problem. And now it's. <laughs> Seems to be, yeah, I still think the the fly, the follow me, is still sorting itself out. I mean, I would go over there and probably get um, stung by bees or something. A lot of bees around here today. And if I put on the, take the lock off, it, it just seems to go off on one a bit. Okay. So. I'll tell you what, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to come out. Come out with a follow mo. Right, so. Video stopped. I'm not going to go any further with this because um, I think mainly it's to do with the mission hub. So I will, like I said, when I get back home, I'll go on to the mission hub and see what's changed. Because there's, there's a few things I didn't see before. It's all to do with this mapping and 3D um, jargon. <laughs> but anyway, just thought I'd put that up there anyway, just to see what's going on. From what I can see from the last update, to do with the Mini 3. Um, don't forget, guys, you can do the Mini 3 or the Mini 4. I'm talking about the Pros, uh, obviously the Mini 3, and there's a, you know, the bigger drones. But I'll put all that spill in my face now so you know what drones are doing. It's Like I said, it's free to use at the moment. So, yeah, as always, 
there's gonna be another drone come oh no not another drone another video can race soon